The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome to Unhinged with the Door Dork. But today we have a very special guest, Mr. Jason Grooms from Norton Rickson. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Should we dive in? It can only get worse from here, right? No, you don't start with the worst one. <laughs> this one's pretty bad, but I think we're going to end on a doozy. This one might be a little bit of a sandwich here. Oh, wow. This one comes in layers. What is wow. going on with the plates? <laughs> Is it anti-vandal or is it mag or yes? There's no mullion. There's no mullion. So they, they have oh, is that to an electric the strike? Oh, is that an electric strike? Okay. But I'm with you, Mia. I thought it was a protector, a lash protector, which I guess it could double as that. But you've also got the cylinder above the strike. So hopefully that thing's always unlocked. Hopefully. Knock on a door. It's always unlocked. It's hard to process this, right? <laughs> okay, let's stay with the electric strike <laughs> <laughs> yeah, electric strike. Yes, that is an electric strike. So it's they have not... the wire just out in the open, then just chased <laughs> through the aluminum channel. Is that? Yeah, okay. I think they used like silver tape where they painted it silver to like, it's camouflage. So don't, don't worry about that. Don't pay attention to the wire. It's, it's there, but it's not there because you can't really see it. Okay. Wow. I mean, no one with a pair of pliers could do anything harmful to this door at all. Right. Like I'm assuming they fixed that leaf now, right? Because there's a <laughs> pull on it i would really hope so that they've got flush bolts on there that they're always thrown or maybe there's more brackets up on the top and bottom yeah maybe they permanently turned this into a partition a wall now <laughs> yeah hopefully there's surface bolts this is a maybe, mess maybe they they still left it open so they if they needed to they could get large equipment through but even then, like another concern, at least from my standpoint, is there's an exit device here for a reason. Why is there an exit device and what are they doing to like they modified this door in some way or another? It almost looks like they took a door from another spot and like rehung it here because one of these things are not like the other. I mean, that could have been double doors that they just pushed through previously and they could have just retrofit a device onto it because that's a vestibule that you're walking into, right? Because if you look to the left, there's like another yeah. door situation over there and to the right there's a mat which would indicate that there's a door there so that's some sort of a vestibule maybe they're trying to make like a man trap that's scary yeah it does kind of look like the door does continue over there and maybe there's two different entrances here and this could be a vestibule i do like the blue Painter tape. Uh, tape on the ground directing them to use this door because i wonder if there's still a pole on this leaf over here where people are trying to... Yeah, there probably is. Well, yeah, look at the screw underneath that. Yeah. It's probably still there. And to Benji's point, hopefully they don't need both leaves for egress. Knock on a wooden door that they don't need both leaves. Also, like imagine walking through this. So, so let's say you're on the secure side, right? Or the unsecure side, and you're walking towards this door. You scan your badge or you gain access to this door in one way or another. And you open up that right hand reverse door. And then there's an electric strike sticking out into that opening, right? Like what if you have a purse or a bag or something like that? You're just going to be banging that every single time you walk through this door or catching your arm on it. Those bracket corners look sharp. Yeah. It's rough. That's, that's like an extruded L channel. So that's going to have a sharp corner. Well, they sanded it down a little bit. A little bumper. This is definitely custom made, right? We don't sell anything like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It looks yeah. like a threshold. It yeah. almost does, right? <laughs> They're like putting the pieces together from different doors and creating a Franken door. Yeah. Also, this is probably a double cylinder, right? So if they are... Oh, yeah, good point. Well, maybe it is. Maybe <laughs> it better, better be a double cylinder. If it's not, then we have a whole nother issue because then people can get locked in. Hopefully they just like dummied that whole cylinder, but maybe they use that for after hours lockup or something like that. I don't know. There's a lot to take in on this opening. You you know what I would expect from an opening like this on the other side? One of those realtor lock boxes so that whoever is in first in the morning can unlock. They, they use the key to, to use throw the code, off. open the lock box. That's funny. And it's hanging on the pole. Yep. The other yep. Side. Yeah. So what do you all think? Any last comments before we give it a knocking score? It's just a mess. I don't. I would say as a learning opportunity here, don't do this. Hopefully that's helpful. Or like electrify trim or something like that would be a lot better than trying to Frankenstein this door together. Yeah. I mean, they were going for a budget-friendly option here. Yeah. But I'm sure somebody could have worked out a compliant budget-friendly option for them. And hopefully it's not tied into an operator or anything like that, because if the bolt is thrown, like you're just asking for other trebles there, right, Jason? Right, right. Okay. Knock and score. What do you think? I think 
you have to call the AHA on this one. This type of vestibule, I'm assuming it's a secure vestibule like Mia suggested, which would tell me it's probably a school. So, I mean, that's not a code violation that you can ignore. Those aren't code violations that you can ignore since there's so many of them. So I guess that'd be a 10, right? Yeah. I mean, if you're calling it a 10. Is it too early to have a 10? It's it's never too early for a 10. Never too early. (laughs) I'm hesitant to go quite to a 10, but having the exposed wire is just so bad. Like everything about this opening is sad. This is probably one of the worst (laughs) we've seen, right? On the show. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm at least at a nine, a minimally a nine here. A minimal a nine. Okay. <laughs> minimum. <laughs> Could be 15, but at least a nine. <laughs> I'm definitely with you. Again, a lot of unanswered questions. Like if this was on the path of egress, if this was a man trap, like there's a lot of unanswered questions that could make this a 10 immediately. As far as like aesthetically appealing, it's a 10 in my book. It's not great looking. Security wise, like I think it's doing its job to a certain extent. Maybe they were having issues with people getting through the double doors beforehand with a, a J tool or a turn switch switch or something like that. And maybe it is like acting as a security feature, but from a liability standpoint as well, like if it is a man trap, that's no bueno, but also walking through that door and getting your arm caught on that every day or knocking it off for the exposed wire, potentially kids playing around with that could lead to some issues. I know it's all low voltage. It's fine. Like we all used to lick the nine volt batteries anyways, but yeah, I'm up there with you. If we had the answers, I would definitely give it a 10. If we don't, I'm I'm still thinking an eight or a nine at least. Yeah. This is hard to look at. I feel like this is the worst wired one we've seen. Yeah. For sure. I mean, there was a couple other doozies, but this one's pretty bad because the wire is just right there. Okay. You ready for the final photo? Final well, I, photo. I mean, if the, if the past two are any indication, I think we might all need a drink first. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that wasn't the kind tea. of drink I meant though. <laughs> it's tea. No, it really is. <laughs> this one actually took myself. So I've got the backstory on it. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a photo to submit, leave a comment down below, or you can email me at mia at doorhardwarenerds.com.